Shabbat Shalom. This week's parasha is Shabbat Vayera. In it, we have Moshe Rabbeinu beginning to punish the Egyptians with the ten plagues. The men of the Great Assembly picked this Haftarah because it too talks about punishment of the nation of Egypt, the ancient nation of Egypt. So, that is the thematic connection from the parasha to the Haftarah. It comes from the book of Yechezkel. Who was Yechezkel? He was a Navi, he was a prophet. He lived in the time before, during, and after the Beit HaMikdash, the first Beit HaMikdash. His father was a Navi, his name was Buzi. He was also a Kohen, so not only was he spiritually elevated as a Navi, but he was also a Kohen, so he had access to the Beit HaMikdash. He experienced prophecies. He was able to attain the prophetic experience for 20 years to see visions about the future. He was part of the exile of the Jewish people into Babylonia, and he actually experienced prophecies outside of the land of Israel, which out of the 55 recorded prophets, after Moses, it's hard to find anybody who did have these prophetic experiences outside of the land of Israel. And he passed away in Babel, in Babylonia. And we know that his book, it was written by himself, Yechezkel, Chazak El. God is strengthening. God is my strength. Well, God will strengthen me. When we say Kaddish, as far as uh, seeing famous phrases in the book, you have Yitkadal v'yitkadash. In Hebrew, it is in the book of Yechezkel is the source of that phrase, and it says, v'hitkadalta v'hitkadashta, is the two words in Hebrew. So there's famous phrases that we have in our Sidur from the book of Yechezkel, that the words of this man are in our mouths, and in our hearts when we're praying every day for the souls of our deceased family to be lifted up into the heavens, that this man helped us with the words to say that. The Haftarah takes place in Jerusalem, and it takes place about 2,400, 2,500 years ago, depending on whose calendar you go by. So now for the story, is that the Jewish people are surrounded by the Babylonians. They're surrounded Jerusalem for about a year. And they're trying to figure out if they should align themselves with the Egyptians. That they figured, the Jewish people figured, if we align with the Egyptians, that the Babylonians are going to try to destroy us, maybe we could help ourselves, they could help us protect ourselves. And God's reply to that is, why are you trying to align with the Egyptian nation? Don't you remember what they did to you? Why don't you try aligning yourselves to me, God? That would be the spiritually correct thing to do. So, the Haftarah ends with the fact that Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babel, is going to triumph over the land of Egypt, and eventually he also destroys the first Beit HaMikdash and exiles about 8,000 people, it is said, into the land of Bavel. So, coming back to one of the most important psukim and uh, phrases that we use as Jewish people, mida keneged mida, measure for measure eye for an eye, in more common biblical terms. So, what the Egyptians did to the Jewish people, God is protective of his people, like a lion protects her cubs. So, we have God saying that I will never forget for eternity what the Mitzrayim, what Pharaoh did to my Jewish people that they will never rise up as a world superpower again, the Egyptians, for what they did to me. That is what it's saying there. But for ourselves, and our personal lives, we have to remember that there is a spiritual Mida Keneged Mida. 
and that we should all be clear at all times that what we need to do is think how we treat other people. Be careful. Whenever you're in a relationship with someone, it's bound to happen that you upset them or they upset you. Avoiding that pain is impossible, but knowing how to resolve these differences between two people and working things through and staying present and the lines of communication open, this is Mida Keneged Mida. It's to find friends and family and spouses and people you work with, whomever, that there is an elimination of adversarial behavior and that there is an alignment with each other to try to see things the same way. Achtut, oneness. Shabbat shalom. Enjoy the Haftarah.